Dr. Bob, every time I see my doctor, he orders a CBC. What's the CBC? I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you know the term. On television, sometimes we hear the word stat CBC. That's a complete blood count. CBC, complete blood count. In it, we have a hemoglobin and hematocrit, big medical words. But that tells us about your red blood cells. It tells us if you have an anemia. It gives us hints as whether that anemia is because of blood loss or if it's because of vitamin deficiencies. And so when we get that hemoglobin and hematocrit, it really helps us. If we have GI bleeding, that hemoglobin and hematocrit goes way down. There is a condition where we have too much red blood cells called polycythemia vera. So your doctor can diagnose these by getting CBC with the hemoglobin and hematocrit, but that's not all he gets. In a CBC, there's also a white blood cell count and differential. So we get the white cells in general. The white cells are those cells in the body that fight off infection. So we have neutrophils and monocytes. Doesn't mean anything except the doctor can look at the percentage of those and he can tell us if it's probably a viral infection or probably an infection, a bacterial infection. Wow, that's what the white blood cell count. With the differential, sometimes there are <coughs> cells we call eosinophils that can point to the doctor toward, hey, it might be allergies that are there. So a CBC is a general test that helps us know if something's going on in the body. Common causes anemia that might show up would be a blood loss from either the stomach or from the colon. Uh, maybe somebody with a chronic illness has anemia. Uh, menstrual cycles causing too much blood loss lots of causes of anemia and it tips the doctor off. Also in the CBC, there are platelets. Those are the things that help us have blood clotting. So it's important that we have adequate platelets. All that's in the CBC. It should be a part of every routine physical examination. And now you know what's in your CBC.